people should value landscapes, ecosystems and biodiversity. It's not only related to threatened species, it's related to everything, everything that is around us. So without biodiversity we cannot survive. Without biodiversity we as human cannot survive in this planet. Actually, children understand this quite well, but then when they become elder, they forget about it. The Caucasus is home to many endangered species. One of them is the Caucasian leopard. Today, there are less than 40 of them left in the wild. Together with small mountain villages, the WWF is promoting ecotourism in an attempt to save Europe's last wilderness. We're always up for an adventure, so we packed our mountain bikes and traveled to Armenia, a small country in the middle of the Caucasus. In Yerevan, we met Emma. As a volunteer for the WWF, she knows her way around the national parks. Guided by local rangers, we wanted to discover Europe's last true wilderness and maybe find some trails for mountain biking along the way. After escaping the city, we pitched our tent near the protected landscape of Ganeshik and spent the night under the stars. The next morning, we met Emma and Alec, a ranger of the WWF. He knows these mountains like the back of his hand, so we asked him to show us around. I am standing in Gnishik, a protected landscape that is famous for its biodiversity and home to one of the biggest populations of bezoar goats in Armenia. The protected landscape here is also an important corridor for the Caucasian leopard, which relies on a healthy population of bezoar goats in this area. Gnishik is located around the Nurevank Monastery, one of Armenia's best-known tourist attractions. The protected area here is community-managed and tourism is a major source of income. At the same time, it is an important breeding ground for bazaar goats, so tourism has to be regulated. We want tourists to be able to enjoy nature without disturbing the wildlife. That's why we are creating designated hiking trails throughout Gnishik. An important part of this work is to maintain a balance between conservation and the needs of the local population. It is not possible to protect nature without the support of the people living in the protected areas. Exploring the protected landscape with Alec made us eager to learn more about conservation in the Caucasus, so we arranged a meeting with the director and project leader of the WWF. Hello, Emma. Hello. We recently started a project on the establishment of new national park in this area. This area is very important for us because it's a hotspot for biodiversity. Here you can find uh, globally nationally threatened species like Caucasian leopard, Armenian mouflon, bezoar goat, brown bears and many other species. Actually we have very few Caucasian leopards uh, left in the country and recently we found four or five leopards in the southern part in this region. This is very important because before it we couldn't find them. If Armenia or Caucasus is a part of Europe we can consider that this is the last biggest cat of Europe.
It didn't take long for us to realize that the Caucasus is just as rich in cultural heritage as it is in wildlife. We learned that Armenia is the oldest Christian nation in the world. Many ancient churches and monasteries have been reclaimed by nature and are now hidden in the dense forests, waiting to be discovered again. So we got curious and asked around. Can you maybe ask him? Khosrov State Reserve is one of the oldest national parks in Armenia. It was already established at Soviet times. But after the collapse of the Soviet Union, it got under immense pressure on biodiversity. Today we have a complete different situation. We can see here with our own eyes bears, vultures, bezoar goats, all endangered species. Given the situation that we had in the early 90s, it was very important to really close this part of Armenia and put it under the highest level of protection. We can really consider it now as the jewel of protected areas in Armenia. Apart from the incredible landscapes and the stunning wildlife, one of Armenia's biggest treasures is the hospitality of its people. Even in the most remote villages, people welcomed us with open arms. After traveling through the protected areas of Armenia, we had a much better understanding of what environmental protection truly means for the people of the Caucasus. It gives them the opportunity not only to protect nature, but also to cherish their culture. And it shows that social and environmental problems are two sides of the same story. We can't wait to come back and to meet our newfound friends again. Until then, let's all do our part to keep Europe's last wilderness wild. I'll try it. Real, real try it.